Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another reaction video and Morgan is still hanging in here with me. Uh, we are gonna introduce her now to Eden Nash. So this song is titled Ocean. Uh, before we jump into this, if you guys have been checking out all of my Reniverse playlists, you'll probably see that I've uh, reacted to a lot of Eden Nash's songs. Um, and I've been encouraging you guys to go over and subscribe to her channel because for somebody who's done a song with Ren, uh, she has a very low subscriber count. I think it's only like 1,000 or 1,200 or something like that. So go show her some love. Go check out some of her other music um, so that maybe she'll, you know, do some more music with Ren. Who knows? But uh, yeah, you ready to get into this, Morgan? I am ready. All right, let's do this. Bad, bottom for the ocean. Bad, bottom for the ocean. I'm at the bottom of the sea. Stay down, down. Oh, oh. Stuck here in a dream. Ladies and gentlemen. How are you this evening? Our names are Ren and Eden. I hope you're sitting comfortably relaxed and I'll stop breathing. Life into the music scene. Addictive music, nicotine. Don't lose your head like guillotines. I'm tapping on the drum machine. They're blowing off the ceiling with rhymes that I'm revealing. Producer poets in the song, a writer with the feeling. I split the wicked cricket team. I'm beating it like Billie Jean. It's time for heroes, libertines. Stretch your mind like limousines. I rip the scratch, spit and quickly splits and that I'm spoken with. And I'm dope and gold with the poking holes in MCs like a beauty kit. I break this lit, this myth, it break the chits, the chat, a strategist, a passionate blasphemous alchemist making a manuscript. I'm taking the rate of the face the face and I'm making the cake when I'm making the bacon. I'm making a mistake, a mistake in my way, but I learn in return when the lessons are made. I'm vividly given the golden ability, literally killing the complex officially. Oh, bro, you know I show flow agility. Bad, bad bottom. For the ocean, I'm at the bottom of the sea. I'm gonna stay down, down. Oh, stuck here in a dream. Oh, at the bottom of the sea. I rise to the top with these vibes that are dropping, ain't nobody stopping me. Yeah, I spilled my soul on the sheet of paper. Deep in my feet, carry my hurt, carry my pain, give me new life, baptize me, carry me so, so far away, a place where my dreams become night and day, a place where I know I can achieve, ocean, ocean, help me believe, trouble no more, I'm a free man, trouble no more, I'm a free man, shackles gonna fall off his feet and, shackles gonna fall off his feet and, Fall to the floor, you know I'll rebound Fall to the floor, you know I'll rebound King of the shore, you know I won't drown King of the shore, you know I won't drown Don't trouble no more, oh, I'm a free man Trouble no more was so good she sounded she sounded to me like lily allen yeah i could see that for sure yeah there's another um fairly recent like kind of reggae singer female vocalist i say recent within the last like decade not like one of because a lot of them are so old uh when it comes to reggae Ooh, I'm so sorry. but i can never remember her name like i can never remember the name of this other artist i'm gonna have to look it up next time before i react to this one again so i can mention who it is that i'm thinking of but uh, again, completely different style and, and sound, right? Yeah, yeah. It uh, his range is insane. He can he can do it all. Yeah, and he started off kind of like a, you know, a short ways into it, kind of like the fast rap. Yeah. But then it quickly changed. Um, it it just amazes me, man. Like, how. I wonder what he consumes musically. Oh, probably just everything. Yeah. Just it, everything. And, and, and then, because and then, everybody's inspired by something um, or some musician or artist or something that they grew up with or something that they, you know, actively consume. 
uh, musically, and, and then they can take it and twist it into their own what version. What inspires him? Yeah. Yeah, and it might not just be music. It could be a lot of different things. See, and that's... I, I said this to you before, and I don't think it was on, you know, reaction when we were filming, but I honestly would just love to sit down with him, just on a couch, like Drew Barrymore style, all up at his face, and just... Pick his brain? Where do you get it all? Where yeah. is this all coming from? Who do you like? What? Do, where do you draw your inspiration from? So before uh, he was solo as Ren... He has mm-hmm. another YouTube channel called Trick the Fox. Okay. And it was a, I think it was a two man band primarily. Occasionally there was a third person, but it's mostly him and one other guy. And um, they had actually got a contract with, I believe, Sony Records. Okay. Um, but because of his illnesses and everything, he wasn't able to fulfill it and the deal kind of fell apart or something. And I've been going through that catalog of music mm-hmm. and it's, Way different from the stuff we see Ren doing now. Really? And yeah. To me, it was kind of like a stepping stone into his musical career. And I feel like at that stage, he was still trying to find his style and his uh, his own thing. Because what I'm he was sorry. doing at that I time... Keep, I keep yawning. I'm oh, it's all right. So I'm sorry. And I keep trying to like stop it, which only just, just, just like... Just let it happen. I know. We, we, I'm going to I'm gonna have to in order to like stop it. We just okay. ate a whole lot of food. Um, right. but yeah, so like what he was doing as Trick the Fox, it, 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 it's, it's pretty good music, but you could almost tell that like, he wasn't trying to make the, the cover songs his own. He was trying to replicate the song the same exact way as oh. the artist. Uh, and it was like John oh, Mayer and things so like that. talented. Yeah. No, he still does an amazing job with it. So I'm not knocking it. It's just now if he's doing a cover, he makes it his own. Yeah. Yeah. At that stage, it Which, seemed like he was trying to, not even trying, he was more or less almost replicating the way, this, almost identical to what the original sounded like, which is good to pay tribute to an artist you like. Yeah. But um, what I'm mostly saying, he's grown a lot musically since uh-huh. Trick the Fox. So it's like when you see the stuff he's doing now and then you, you go in reverse and you check out Trick the Fox, you're like, oh, wow. So he did have his start from somewhere. Yeah. Um, he didn't get this way overnight. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh but we're not going to be looking at any Trick the Fox today because I'd rather stick to the more current stuff and there's so much to choose from. So that being said, we are Let's about to go to... to did I, what did I tell you? What are we getting into? The is it, Are we going straight? I think... I think maybe uh, one more and then the tale. Children of the Moon. And then after that, we're going to go into Jenny Screech and Violet's tale. So we'll wrap here and we'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, Later. Yeah.